Hello my fellow geeks, it is that time of year. We just had Force Friday and the stuff is piling up. It's time to start unboxing and I'm gonna start with the Poe Dameron Black Series helmet. If you've seen this channel at all, you'll know I love the Star Wars helmets. The Kylo Ren, which the voice was terrible, but we fixed that. The Stormtrooper, which the voice was terrible, but we fixed that. The Black Series was great. Even the Iron Man helmet, but now I get to be Poe Dameron, which I'm not sure I'm cool enough to pull off, but I'm gonna try. So let's see what's in the box. Inside, things seem to be pretty well packaged. There's nice uh, cardboard holding everything in place. This will probably need assembly. All of them have in the past. No, actually, that looks like it is just there and ready to go. That's easy. Let's get this out of the way. That was ridiculously easy. That's all it took. It came out of the package just like this. So let's take a look. It's got a really nice weathered effect. So this is definitely not a uh, brand new helmet, which makes sense for Poe. He probably didn't have a chance to get a new helmet after The Force Awakens. So this is supposed to be his helmet from The Last Jedi. We have a total blast shield here that does not appear to move, but the screen is supposed to move, yeah. So here, pretty easy to pop up and pop down. So that makes it nice if I'm wearing it to work for some random reason as I'm uh, known to do. I can actually see. I did kind of enjoy the advantage of the Stormtrooper helmet so nobody really knows if I'm awake or not, but this will still work. This microphone flips back and folds out. This doesn't actually do anything. There's no microphone in here. It's just a piece of plastic. It's just for looks, but it looks pretty good. On this corner, there's actually a slider switch and it looks to me like I'm going to guess, I haven't looked at the manual yet, but something's going to come off right here. There we go. And there's the battery door. Pretty easy and I didn't break anything just taking it off. So I'll grab a screwdriver and put some batteries in this. You just took three AA batteries sliding in there. You don't need to see how those go. Like every other toy you've got, AA batteries. It's super easy. And let's take a look at the inside. On the inside, there's a uh, Princess Leia earmuffs. What? So this is supposed to be an adjustable piece of... I don't know, foam, it's fabric covered foam. It's actually really nice compared to the plastic pieces we got with the Stormtrooper helmet, which were really bad. This is really nice. There's already Velcro in there. So if you've got a big head, I know a lot of people have a big head and complained about ones in the past, you might be able to fit in this way. And then if you have a small head, like my son and my kids are gonna wear one of these, you can put this in with all the pieces and get it adjusted here just right. And hopefully, it looks like the Velcro will probably stay. And then you can also, if you, and then if you have a wide head, but not a, a tall head, you can just put the middle piece in there, which will probably be the one for me. I don't know, well, let's do some test fitting. So I'll show you how it fits a couple of different ways. Here I have all three pieces of the fabric in. I've got the top piece in and both the ear pieces. It's covering my ears, which is making me shout a little bit. But what's nice is that I can look around. I don't have any of the problems I had with the Stormtrooper helmet right out of the box. It's very secure. It might get a little sore if I was wearing it all day. And if your head's any bigger than mine, it, this won't fit for you like this. But if I'm gonna wear it around going to the new movie, which is totally possible because I mean, this, this is, this is actually even cooler than I thought it would be. Uh, I I would probably wear it this way. So now I've taken the side pieces off and I feel like I'm shouting. Wow, yeah, because I can hear a lot better. But it does move around on me a little bit. So it doesn't hold in place quite as well. It is still, I still have the piece across the top here. But if you have a wider head, this might be a good fit. And you might add just a little foam to the sides itself like I did in my uh, Stormtrooper helmet. There's a link up here so you can see how I did that. The uh, That would make it you could get just a custom fit and I might do that with one of these anyway just to get a custom fit so I can slide it up and down but it's not bad and it, it but it does move around a little bit. Um, and then with no foam in it all my head is not big enough at all uh yeah so this is not gonna work for me i can practically spin the thing around so it gets that's pretty darn big there's not you can see how much front to side room is or front to back and side room there is there's a lot of room in here so it's not gonna fit everybody some people with giant heads sorry it's it's still not gonna fit because they have to make one size fits all they can't release a whole bunch of different sizes for it but it is nice and versatile for that so i'm gonna put the uh pieces back in so it fits my head appropriately and then we'll test out the sounds so I put the pieces back in and it is, I mean, it doesn't slide on super easy, but it's a helmet. It's not supposed to slide on because now everything stays lined up for me and I'm gonna try not to shout, but this seems to me the way it should fit to me. 
I've got uh, a number of the Stormtrooper helmets, and some of them I've added foam to, and some of them I haven't. Uh, I've got one that fits me perfectly, so I'll probably do the same thing with this. I actually have several of these already, and I'll keep this in place so people, other people can wear it, so my kids can wear it, because they're going to wear these like crazy too, and then I'll have one that's just mine. So the visor does pull down. It is easy. Uh, I saw one of the videos where people said it's easy, and then it wasn't, but it does pull down and go back up really easy, back and forth, however you want it. So. It's a pretty good look. It's just a yellow effect. I wonder what it'll be like out in the daylight. Probably doesn't count as UV sunglasses. So then right here, there's a switch to turn it on and you flip that switch and then there's a button here that you press and that actually turns on the sounds. And I'll move my microphone up so you can hear it better. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put the microphone right in here so you can kind of see what it sounds like. So there we press the button and it turns on. And you wait for it then to uh, just have an idling engine. So just you can sit and that would probably be great to sleep with. It's nice and quiet, idle. You can press the button again. And it'll do several different things. So there's a number of microphones. Uh-oh, that's bad. Um, there's, oh, it actually shut off in that case. Uh, there's a, oh, came back on on its own. I literally just took it out of the box, so I don't know what all it does. There's a number of speakers inside, so when the TIE fighters are flying around, you actually hear them flying around you. When you hear BB-8, it sounds like he's sitting right behind you. It doesn't sound like he's in front. They have it all positioned really well. So it gives a really neat effect. What I might do, though, is just... <laughs> Thanks, BB-8. What I might do is just for walking around, I might like the engine sound, but not necessarily, I don't want it to go, because there's a microphone inside, when you talk to it, it will activate BB-8, and I don't know that I always want that to happen, so I might cover over that microphone to see if I can get it to not work for that, so then I control it off this button. I think that's actually the way I'd prefer it. If you don't talk or push the button for a while, it does turn itself off, so you don't have to worry about setting it down and forgetting about it and having the battery dead. The battery should last a long time. I haven't replaced the batteries in my Stormtrooper helmets since I got them, so they do last a good long time. My kids use them all the time. I just find them laying around random spots. I expect the same thing with these, but that's where I will keep one for me and let them have the rest of them. What I really wanted to happen, and maybe it'll still happen, I want Amazon, who made the exclusive black Stormtrooper helmet last year, I want an exclusive helmet like this that's just painted like an X-Wing pilot, like Skip, or uh, Snap, Snap Wexley, there you go. I want one of his with just the white and the orange and the blue, because while this one's definitely the coolest, I, I want more helmets. So there you go. Hopefully you found this review uh, helpful. There's a link down below where you can order it from Amazon. Make sure you subscribe because this is just the first of a number of Force Friday videos that are coming and just post things over time. And if we get enough people who are interested in continual toy reviews, I would be happy to do so. And until next time, remember, if you're gonna be a geek, be an elite geek.